planners and bullet journals, art journals, art projects, organized planner sheet. Well, hello, I welcome you to Organized Planner Chic. I'm Lucinda, and yes, August is pretty much here, and I'm so excited to do a plan with me with you guys, a true plan with me, because it's been so far long ago since I've done that. And so you see here, I am doing a sketch um, for the theme is basically succulents and cactus, or cacti, however you say that correctly. Um, and so I just, looked well I kind of started using my own reference because I li live in Arizona now but I also did just kind of flip through some uh, pictures on Google images to kind of give me some different ideas of the shapes or styles or types of succulents that I wanted to use and then I just um, went to the paper and started sketching out because uh, you know sometimes we think of everything as being kind of dry and dull but they're actually very beautiful colorful succulents out there so here I'm just using some Tombow dual brush markers to color in the cactus and uh, where you see the green and the like darker green oh yeah and there's my face <laughs> in a way but I just used the same color marker for the darker green on there I just went back over it and then used a lighter green shade and then here I'm doing uh, two different shades of orange uh, again with the Tombow dual brush marker and then going over the tips with the red and there are so many like I said beautiful succulents that I see around here especially in potted plants that are so colorful and pretty and I wanted to bring that out for this title page and be sure and check out my organized planner sheet crew Facebook group because you get this coloring page of course it's blank free as being a member of the group so here I'm doing some different shades of purple and I really like the way that turned out. You see how you can just use different colors to really bring out the beauty of your sketch. And I think this turned out really well. I'm very, very pleased with it. Okay, and then we're gonna do my goals page, which uh, I've really gotten used to and, and happy to use. I think it's been three or four months maybe that I've been using this particular style um, right next to my title page. And it helps me really plan for the month. And so I start there with personal goals and then uh, personal and business goals. And then I break down for the business part um, some Etsy and YouTube and then the, the business part at the top is really more general overall for the business with finances and paperwork and things like that and then that other section under Etsy and YouTube are significant events and dates you know dates to remember to plan for so that I can put those on my future calendar pages going forward and then if there's a calendar and of course I'm drawing out another cactus I did that one in pencil first, but I did not do that going forward because I do not need no stinking pencil <laughs> to dry, draw a cactus or a succulent. They're pretty easy to do and you just kind of go with it. They're not perfect. They're shaped all different kind of ways. And so, and there I'm going back over the green with, uh, with the same marker, just darker. And then here I'm using a Crayola Super Tip because I didn't have a Tombow in the color uh, of gray that I wanted for the kind of rocks or stones there in my pot and then added some blue there which I didn't have on the other side I just felt like I needed another little color to pop some and then I highlight the titles on the days of the week with some of those colors that I used so here we're looking at my August calendar I used to call it um, like the months um, appointments and schedules things like that and that was just too much extra all I needed to put with calendar and then I drew a few succulents uh, up there there we've got the calendar days of the week calendar dates and then the days of the week alongside that and then I'm just gonna draw a box around that so that I can color that some of my accent colors so of course we need another succulent or actually this one is a cactus is a cactus a succulent you know I think I can't remember I think but then when I look at succulents on Google there there's no really cactus there but cactus when I look that up there's really no succulents there so I don't know I'm not sure <laughs> put what you think in the comments below I guess I could always Google it but I'd love to see what you guys think uh, and so then I'm just coloring the little mini ones up there and um, you know adding some color here in my pot for my cactus and I'm gonna I think I, I use blue or purple purple so I use purple which was one of the colors on the title page 
in um, some orange right here. And I think it turned out really nice and colorful. I think that's it. Did I put anything at the bottom? Nope, that's it for that page. All right, now this is where I track my wants and needs personally and business-wise. Primarily, everything I want or need has to do with my YouTube channel and my Etsy shop. And uh, But this does really help me kind of spend correctly um, and keep up with a good budget for what I should do each month so that I can be profitable and there I'm doing a, another succulent just kind of going with whatever shapes come out of my mind which is what I've been doing this whole time and drawing my lines for my charts for my wish list and my business needs and then yeah we've got those accent colors uh, just coming out again and then I'm going to definitely of course color using those same colors I've used for the same type of succulent um, and the previous pages and going forward and you know we just kind of put those different combinations of purple there. I just really love how this combination looks. I like the way the orange and red look too, but there's just something about this purple, especially with that really dark purple at the top that I just love. So um, yeah, look at you. Aren't you pretty? <laughs> I think you're gorgeous. All right, so then let's see, what page do I have here? I cannot think, oh, it's my um, habit tracker. So this habit tracker really saves my life. There is there are a lot of things that I have to do on a daily basis and a lot of things that I want to accomplish and they may be a little bit more than, you know, I may stretch myself a little bit more than I should, but um, but this helps me kind of see if I'm doing that and am I getting done just the things that I want to do or am I getting done the things I need to do first? And so I've got, they're all on the left are my everyday things and they're both personal and business that I want to try to do most days. Realistically, I can't do every single thing on that list every single day, but most things I should get done pretty much. I mean, I should have like a high percentage because um, they're just, they're routine things that make a difference, you know, baby steps that help you reach your goals. And their personal goals too, like making sure I stay spiritually sound, emotionally sound, and all that kind of thing. And then I've got, so I have daily habits, uh, weekly habits, monthly habits, and then twice a month. Like the only thing I have in there for twice a month, I think right now, are washing the bed sheets. Um, and so then I've got some succulents there, uh, like I had before. It's the same ones that I did on the title page. And I'm gonna color them that same, you know, combination. And then I've got some highlights again. I just love Tombos. They're so, <laughs> they are so flex. I mean, they just have so many different uses. And highlighting is one of them. And I think this yellow just kind of makes everything pop. I love it. And orange going forward, you'll see they they just make everything look pretty. And if it looks pretty, then I want to use it. If it doesn't look pretty, I'm just less inclined to use it. That's just the way I am. Okay, so this is my health and wellness tracker. This one is new because I had started during One Book July trying to do it weekly, and that just was not turning out to work for me. It was too much work, and I wasn't really sure how I wanted to track it that way, so I decided just to do a monthly one. So then here I've got on my, to the left, I have an image that I printed out because it covers my shoulder exercises. And strengthening and then I wrote out the ones for my knees and hips and then uh, the days of the week and the week you know number calendar days so I can keep track up with it throughout the month and then I've got my cardio that I would try to do four times three to four times four ideally which for me because of my knees is on the bike and then um, and then I've got I'll It'll show here in just a moment. Right now I'm doing my succulents, but somewhere I should be showing, um, I think toward the end of this spread, a monthly, no, not a monthly, a mental health part, which I'm kind of working on with my doctor right now on what I want to check, uh, what I, how I want to track my moods, moods and emotions and that kind of thing. Uh, we've been working with that. So, um, and there we've got some orange that I was talking about. So there's the monthly part. And, um, I think that's it for this one and then and I left room you know I didn't do any more drawings at the bottom of that spread because I'm not sure what we're gonna finalize the, the doctor with the doctor but so I want to have room if I need to put more stuff down there or whatever and so here is the first weekly spread and this is been my tried and true for the last few months I think that I really love this um, this spread this it just works for me so I've got the calendar days and then at the top is my weight 
um, my Bible study, my gratitude, because I used to do a gratitude page spread, but I didn't really use it. So this way, having it every, I mean, I always prayed and did my gratitude, but I didn't record it, but having it on every weekly spread works for me. And then my water intake is there at the bottom. Then there we've got the right on the bottom right, or this is the day of the week, or no, the week of the year, a relaxing activity every day, and the things to do for the, um, for that week that I want to try to accomplish. And then I've got the highs and lows for the temperature and then a place for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and three snacks. And then of course I'd write in there whatever I need to do for that particular day. And then I've got my um, my succulent with the cactus and, uh, and then I'm just doing some highlights with those colors that we were, we've been using throughout. And I think this is so pretty. And that is it for that. So here is a, a slower look at all of the spreads for this month. I think it looks so pretty. I just love how these colors look. And this, by the way, is the Michaels brand, the Artist Loft Bullet Journal Dot Grid. And it's white. It's not the cream color. And so colors just really, really pop on this, as you can see. And I think it looks fantastic. It's so pretty. It's the colors. I'm not trying to pat myself on the back about the artwork. I just think the colors are so pretty. All right. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. All my sus subscribers get an additional discount from my Organized Planner Chic Etsy shop. And that discount is in the comments below. There's a new one every month. And until next time, everyone, happy planning.